All right. Good afternoon, colleagues. Good afternoon. My name is Shrey Erasmus. Uh, pedagogy building a digital lesson. Um, when thinking about building a digital lesson, uh, some of us get a little bit shaky when it comes to thinking about digital, you know. Um, oh, we need to use a computer and how are we going to do it? And we always try to think that it's, it's more difficult uh, to build a, diff, uh, a digital lesson, but I would say it's much more easier. And we will go, we are going to look at that um, and techniques on how we can build a, uh, a, a digital lesson. And it's quite simple, but we will we will we will we have a plan, and uh, we'll get through it in today's lesson. And I hope you enjoy it. Please uh, be with me. All right. So in this session, we will look at e-learning as an add-in and not an add-on. And I will, I will also explain to you what does that look like um, in regards to what's the difference between what is uh, e-learning e as an add-on and what is it, what does it look like as an add-in. Then we're going to look at our TPAC model. And this is how we integrate uh, technology as well as our SAMR model and then later on we're going to look at the the digital lesson plan tip template but they all form uh, they all come together as one so the TPAC and this uh, SAMR model uh, to get our end product which is our digital lesson plan and that is what that's the fun things that we are going to do uh, closer to the end of the session right so when when we look at um looking at e-learning as an add-in and not an add-on so uh basically uh we're exploring uh implications significance and benefits in education so uh for example the 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 definition when ICT is viewed as an add-on. Technology is used as a supplementary tool that is not integrated into the core of teaching and learning. It may be included in a lesson occasionally, but does not alter the educational experience. So we are just using it basically because, oh, here's a fun tool, let's just add it. And that is, that is using um, basically a tool as an add-on and um yeah the next part i would i would like to say is that, so using it as an add-in uh, for example uh using a video and not just playing a video to, uh, for example uh you would use a video you have a video you'd like to play to your learners and it's a two minute video and you are explaining uh, with the video you know putting it up there and um, the learners are not just watching a video and you know time goes by that is basically replacing the teacher taking the teacher out of the equation and we're just adding a video here you go watch this video and learn basically uh, that is why the, the we would we would rather advise you to see e-learning as an add-in so you you using it to enhance um, learning and teaching in the classroom. I also went to go and look at some characteristics uh, uh, when using, sorry, when using ICT as an add-in. So what happens is technology is then woven into the daily activities of the classroom with the educators planning lessons that that um, were using these digital tools to facilitate learning and and I, I feel we can use there will be a transformation there will be transformation which can impact uh, not just uh, us as educators when we are planning but also it impla impacts the learning in a positive way I mean each and every student um, at school right now they are using devices they are using um, AI <laughs> they are very clued up with AI now on, on, on WhatsApp uh, so it's very um, modernized we need to make our teaching modernized 
by using education, uh, uh, using these tools that we find as an add-in and not just something that we are going to add on. Um, for example, oh, we got a projector now, let us use the projector in the classroom before our, our principal say we, we're not using the things and takes it away. Um, that is um, what I would say uh, as an example anything else um, is there any questions this far please uh, colleagues do not hesitate to ask questions in the chat box if there are any questions uh, uh, please and we will get to that as well right um, so ICT um, as an add-in how does it play significance um, it enhances like I said enhances the learning experience um, so you activate engagement in the class by integrating technology and educators can create more interactive and engaging learning experiences. The second uh, point I would also like to uh, point out why we should also have uh, added as an add in why I say it's an add in. There's a variety of learning learning modes so we can incorporate various ICT tools um and learning modes i know uh, i've used quiz quizzes yet uh, in my class and it's fun and uh, as well as kahoot kahoot is also a, a nice game that you can add within your classroom and it creates just a different type of atmosphere in the classroom very exciting and um, everybody wants to participate we want our learners to participate so with e-learning we get uh um, participation within the classroom as well. Um, the second point uh, I would like to add um, um, ICT as, a, as an add-in is, is um, we develop a digital literacy. So it's essential skills for the future for our learners. You know, everybody, are, they, they are using, everything is going digital lately. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, lesson planning, we can, we can, you know, show it up on a, on the screen and we'll see that I, I find it in my class that students love it when I, when I put on the, the, the television and um, I have a slideshow prepared for them and, uh, you know, they glue to it. They, they're excited and they know, especially when adding videos as well, uh, short clips and teaching with that. There's a session that we, we do host. Um, it's called Teaching with Videos. I do advise you guys to um, to attend that, that session as well. Teaching with Videos, it's it's an, um, it's an amazing session as well. But we, we're not there today. Yo, we're just starting with the foundation and, and you know, just trying to use e-learning as an add-in and not just an extra tool. So first of all, we have our learning outcomes and that is what we are teaching. Like I said again, our learning events is the process of learning and then we identify the technology. So we, we first have to find out what we're going to teach, which is the first part, how we're going to teach it and then we identify which tools. Let us move on to the next one. Right, so now we will look at Laurie Lodge's learning events. And um, this is how we're going to, how we, how we can implement and how we look at this, uh, the learning events. Um, and this is basically what we use every day. Um, and I will just quickly look, uh, uh, explain it to you. So the first one is acquisition. Number one is acquisition. This is the narrative listening and apprehending so what is it what is it so learning by receiving information that is number one um, so an example of that will be uh, watching a video or reading uh, a textbook and then we look at number two number two uh, is discovery so that this is where we are interactive uh, we're in the investigation, uh, investigating or exploring takes place. So for, 
what is discovery it's learning by exploring and finding things out yourself um, so an example of this is uh, searching for articles online about for example renewable energy you are you are exploring and you are searching and you're looking for for information so you want to discover then number three uh, number three is dialogue so this is the learning through conversation and discussion with others this is where the students can learn from one another they can talk in small groups um, they can build something together and discussing with each other for example a a project or uh, giving each other feedback and uh, this is i would say a lot of us um use uh um, this this portion i mean for group work i mean i know when it's uh, the the foundation phase they they do reading in groups and and they collaborate with one with one another right and number three is practice so what is um practice is learning by doing activities or exercise um experiencing um and i know a lot of us we use the acquisition and the practice part and then we you know we a little bit we forget about the discovery and and the dialogue part uh because i know we we don't have a lot of time we don't have a lot of time and um but we need to try to 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 do each of these parts to enable um you know learning uh and and this is a great way to use this this method you can use uh i mean in in different subjects so i do uh, um advise this yes so practice um so they this is where they experience and they practice what they have learned right and number five and this is creation the productive and the synthesizing or making uh, of the final product which is learning by making something new and an example is working in a team to create a powerpoint presentation um they can use it to uh, make a a e portfolio of the series of things they needed to do within the classroom and you know present it to the class maybe a, a powerpoint presentation with videos and and that is where we want to be we, where we want to get our students when it comes to e learning we want them to build their own uh, um you know presentation i mean yeah that is that is the goal using the um these learning events do these learning events take place in this order or can they occur in a different order it, than listed yes there's the, the way you want it um so the way you want um this the, the learning events to take place this is just a base for you to look at but you can take it uh, you can use your own order right you can use your own order you can be like you can create your own creation <laughs> using these learning events remember it's your class so thank you so much for that and uh tpac stands for techno uh, technical pedagogical and content knowledge all right so we start off with the content knowledge so basically uh, again we need to know how our content <laughs> because if you don't know the content how are you able to to know what you must teach you need to know your content and um, understand it not just know it you need to understand it um i know when i started teaching um a few years ago i didn't know uh, what was going on in 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 life skills i was like what wow. I I need to teach the subject but I've never taught it you know how do I teach what am I supposed to do even creative art how how do I teach creative art to a grade 7 class I didn't know uh but as uh, once you you get to know your your content I feel you are able to teach any subject um that that was always my 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 motto that I I can teach anything uh with 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 planning and um knowing it yes so um our tpac model 
what is it it's uh, the is it's a it's a way to think about the different types of knowledge teachers need to teach and how these types of knowledge interact and overlap um yes so first of all it's our our our, our um like i said um our content knowledge and then we move over to our pedagogical knowledge which is understanding the teacher uh, the the teaching strategies so um this is the method how are we how are we going to uh teach um to uh, this this content or or how are we going to teach basically then we look at the technical knowledge understanding the various ict tools at your disposal so you must be able to know the technology that you are using know how to put on the projector <laughs> yes um so for example content knowledge let me just go back to content knowledge so what are you teaching and what is your own knowledge of the subject um so so for example for this lesson you'll need a solid understanding of of what is uh, the tpeg model for example what i am um, teaching right now what what do you need to teach okay then uh when when you look at the pedagogical knowledge you understanding teaching strategies so how do your learners learn best and what instructional strategy structured sorry strategies do you need to meet their needs and the requirements of the lesson okay so what what is required of of them to know right what is and how are you able to 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 uh, pass the lesson over to them to the learners right um and then our technical like i said before our technical technical knowledge is what digital t- uh, tools are available to um to give to uh, sorry to use for the particular content that you need to teach so uh, can as you can see it does um interlink with each other so we have our pedagogical uh slash content which is effective teaching of content so that is where the pedagogical and the content knowledge come together and you will then have effective teaching of the content and that is what we that is what we want that is what we want then we we look at our technolo- uh, technological slash content which is effective presentation of curriculum content so how you presenting it using technology how you presenting your content using different technology and then we have our technological slash pedagogical uh which is effective incorporation of technology in teaching so this is where the technology and the uh teaching the 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 method or the uh yes the teaching strategy comes together and this will form our tpac model and it comes together uh um in all to be able to you know uh it all interlinks for us to 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 give uh, uh how can i say using this method to 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 use uh technology Uh, to the best of our ability and it it will be you know how how can i say the most accurate way of teaching or uh, using technology if if we are touching on each of these if we're touching on you know having our content together knowing how we are going to teach him knowing what how to use the technology and how we are going to use it effectively so that we can bring that uh, everything together and learners are able to not just uh, um enjoy the lesson but it will be effective and it enhances learning and teaching within the classroom so all three levels of tpec are equally important okay so the one is not better than the other so we need to use them all 
when using when applying the TPEC model. So, like I said again, it starts with the content knowledge. Um, um, do you know what you need to teach? Okay. Do you know what? Uh, do you have enough information to teach uh, uh, this particular outcome? And and then we move on to the uh, the strategies. What teaching strategies are you going to use uh, to reach the outcome? And then the te- uh, technology. What technology are we going to use uh, um, to achieve the outcome? And right. So we are moving to the next model, and this is the SAM R model. The SAM R model, and uh, um, as you can see there, we have it's sub. Uh, Substitution, argumentation, uh, sorry, argumentation, uh, modification, and redefinition. Do not want to use uh, technology as a substitute. Okay, <laughs> so technology acts as a direct substitute with no functional change, and. Um, that is how we can basically bring technology in uh, if we, we slowly but surely want to bring it into our uh, into into our classroom uh, you can uh, but that is not the end goal right so for example downloading a a a, a textbook and you know uh, showing it on the screen um, for example also um, instead of writing an essay by hand, students use um, Microsoft Word or Google Docs. Um, yes, so even an e-reader, like I said, like the textbook, the e-reader, and you put it up on screen. But that's, uh, yeah, so substitution, technology acts as a direct sub, uh, substitute for for traditional tools with no functional change so there's no change basically you are still standing and it's just shown on a screen right and then uh argumentative this is the technology still uh substitutes the traditional tool but adds more functional improvement right so for example for uh, of this we are still enhancing technology in the class yes but um, that is not also where we want to be <laughs> we want to go a little bit more when it comes to e-learning all right so an example arg- argumentative is um, using word again uh, but in addition to writing students use features like um, spell spell check um, grammar suggestions um, and collaborating with with tools in Google Docs to improve their writing um, and then also a presentation uh, software using PowerPoint this is also putting it on the screen and you know uh, we are not yet where we want to be but that is also we are still implementing technology within the classroom and you know showing them the slideshow going through the lesson um, Yes, so we are we are enhancing technology in the classroom by doing this, but it's not where we want to be. All right, so but this is step one, step two. This is how we can start implementing um, technology in our classroom. So uh, yes, so the next part is modification. Technology allows for significant task redesign okay this is almost where we want to be all right so modification is um for example students collaborate on shared document outline providing real-time feedback and editing um so this is for example they're using uh, google docs they're all using the same document and uh to do maybe a project and they they all simultaneously are using this uh, particular um, document and that is uh, yes and then the next one col- uh, this also forms part sorry modification also forms part of collaborative projects so we students work together in one um, google doc uh, for example word 
and um, uh, yes so students use the platform uh, to work on a group project in real time allowing multiple users to edit comment and provide feedback simultaneously and this changes the nature of collaboration from physical meetings to online and continuous interactions um, another um, tool uh, in the modification uh, section is the flipped classroom where educators assign video lectures for homework using um, the platform like like edpuzzle and this allows class time to be spent on discussions problem solving and hands-on activities and this is basically fundamentally changing how instructions and learning occurs so this is way different to the norm and this is where we are transforming um our teaching yes all right and then our our our, our last uh, part over there is in our samar uh, model is the redefinition um, this is technology allows for the creation of previous uh, inconceivable tasks okay and um, this is for example students create a multi uh, media presentation using digital tools incorporating videos infographics and interactive elements to share with a global audience and uh, i feel they can even post it uh, on the the social media and hear what feedback they will get uh, from their friends i mean everybody has facebook everybody has instagram and you know they can uh, post their videos or, or their work on the social media and and hear what other people are saying about the tasks um, another tool is our uh, I, I touched on it before is our virtual reality experiences um, where, where students and this also forms part of our redefinition where they use the VR tool students can take a for example a virtual field trip to a historical site or explore the solar system and and this is just taking it to the next level and um, it makes me actually smile because the way uh, uh, technology is improving uh, and and we can bring it to our classrooms um, yeah and it's so amazing and it's so uh, more advanced than when I was in at school and I feel it's uh, there's so much we can do with technology in the classroom Neem says that in substitution, you can also use a digital worksheet instead mm. of using a lot of paper that must be copied. And we all mm. know with the budget cuts, we have to work around everything to save money. Mm. I mean, the media says that Padlet is also a really nice platform where learners can share their thoughts. And yesterday, the vertical tool is also a good safe way to do practicals thank you so much colleague for your interaction thank yes thank you so so much applying the samar um a model so learners use for example google earth to locate a place instead of a printed map or atlas um that will be substituting you know um using rather google earth the app and and you know showing it to them um on screen um then we uh, the um, argumentative uh argumentative is learners make use of tools in google earth to measure the distance between places right so now they're basically physically using the 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 tool uh digitally um and then um Number three, modification, use internet search 
uh, tools for research on locations on Google Earth and use layers to embed information. And um, this is where they are um, um, searching for it. They they need to get the information, and they themselves are, are physically using um, uh, the technology. Um, and then last but not least a redefinition use ict tools to create videos or audios to create a guided tour of um, locations on google earth so basically the first two parts um i i touched on it before is where we as teachers we need to enhance and motivate and drive this into our students you know we need to this is where we need to take uh, take that step to assist our learners um to to use technology um instead of we we just using the straightforward uh going on the internet and you know um just uh, you know just search and then copy from the internet but we need to drive it we need to drive uh, uh um uh, technology in our classroom and and it will pass over on it it won't uh have an immediate effect i know but but we must at least try because that is where we are heading um so let us try to you know start small if if you are not very technological inclined um start with 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 um um uh with, with supplication or some Yes, and then um, and, and and then you start with uh, then you go on to um, argumentative, and um, so on, and that's how we are going to um, use this model, uh, and 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 we transform our learners so that then our learners will be driven. So we started, and at the end, we the learner will drive it, and they will be transformed in what they are doing and um, um, what they are doing. Yes. The ICT integration worksheet. Um, so this is the lesson plan, and this is um, where we bring everything together. So everything that we've learned in this lesson uh, or in this uh, time, we we can all we can bring it all together in this one spreadsheet. And um, so I think is everybody. Uh, has everybody opened up the, the the lesson plan yet please just give a thumbs up um if you have but you can probably see it is everybody there all right so um yes so as you can see um this is the digital lesson plan um this can uh, you can make use of it um um yeah how you want to um so for yeah you can see on top there you have the grade your subject um the outcome and the topic and then over here you can see your pre-lesson activities what activities are you going to use um what technology you're going to um, use within the lesson as well and then over there which part is which part are you using a uh, sam or which part of sam or are you using are you using the traditional way are you using substitution argumentation modification or redefinition right and then the events your learning events you know the learning events is how, um um uh, what we went through uh, today so um the the lorry the lorry lot um events learning events so there we have our acquisition 
uh, then moving over maybe to dialogue or um, discoveries going to look on the internet searching for something uh, using google or whatever whatever search engine and um there you can uh, there you can see either you can uh, which sam or uh, mode are you using is it the modification is it the redefinition and uh, this is during your lesson and then your post post lesson and uh of what is the activity that they are going to do and the technology and of course the the sam or um which part of sam or is is the part of and that's how you group it um together and then last but not least over there you have the reflection using the t pack as a tool so the you you can basically reflect on your lesson what needs improvement um, after you've done your lesson? Do you need uh, improvement in your technological knowledge? Do you need improvement in your pedagogical knowledge? Do you need improvement in knowing your subject better? And um, they, you can just add that comment in and then you go on to the next one, uh, uh, create your, 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 your next lesson and, and try to improve. And that's how we grow um, um, uh, in our a lesson planning and in our teaching and um, also uh, learners in the learning uh, how are they learning and, and figuring out how you would need to teach them because we have to teach students on different levels uh, on on maybe the ability um, so yeah so down but it comes with uh doing it we need to do it we need to uh, you know um uh, constantly uh, uh make use of it uh, if we don't we are just going back we're just going to go back to using our pen and write down our lesson plan but if we constantly uh start uh, developing lesson plans using this uh, it will just grow and will it will just become easier and easier and i mean using these methods uh will assist us also in all to um you know implement technology and add uh, not add on but add in uh into our daily activities and what we need to do and uh, yes